Good evening. Once again, welcome to PNP. It is a joy to have you here tonight. In Exodus 6-7 is a repeated phrase of verse 6. I am the Lord, I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I will rescue you from their bondage and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgments. It was repeated again in verse 7 because God wants to assure the Israelites that his desire is to make them his people and to rescue them. When God calls us out from a place or a situation, he always has a good reason. Let me highlight two reasons for you in this exhortation. Let us look at Abraham. All of us know who is Abraham. Abraham was one of our patriarchs' forefathers who was called by God to come out of his own country as written in Genesis 12.1. Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out of your country, from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. It is an unknown land, a strange land, which Abraham knew nothing about. 75. You must be joking, many of us would say that. At that age, all we want is the comfort of our own home with everything that we wanted and to retire nicely. And I am sure many of us will ask, Why? Why must I leave my comfort zone? Abraham was rich. He doesn't need to heed God's call, but he did. Sometimes we have to leave our comfort zone. Then only God can fulfill his plans in our lives. Always remember that when God wants to do something through you, it is not always about you, but more for the kingdom of God. God told him the reason why he wants him to travel to an unknown land and it is to make him into a great nation. As written in Genesis 12, 2, I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. Now, did Abraham understand God at that time? I don't think so. But he obeyed anyway. Through the obedience of Abraham, the nation of Israel was birthed. What if Abraham did not obey God? then he would have missed out on the blessings. Can God call another person? I'm sure he can. But if you are God's first choice, it means that you are the best person to fulfill the task. Remember Moses and Aaron? God called Moses, but he kept giving excuses. And God has no choice but to make Aaron the spokesperson. And we know later that Aaron sinned against God and caused the Israelites to fall by worshipping the golden calf. So when God calls you, do answer that call and don't ask, Why me? This is one reason why God calls us out, out of our comfort zone, so that God can begin to do great things in our lives. There is another calling out that is just as important. This is where God will be our rescuer. Let us look at Exodus 6-7. Many years down the road, after Abraham, the Israelites were crying out to God to rescue them from slavery under the Egyptians. God was willing and he sent Moses to rescue them. Now let us look at what God said about the land of Egypt in Exodus 20 verse 2. I am the Lord your God who has brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. God heard their cries and agreed with them that they needed to be rescued from the house of slavery. How can God's people be in such a place? La, let us look at what slavery can do to people. When you are under bondage and oppression for far too long, hopelessness will seep into your heart. That was how the Israelites felt when they were under the rule of the Egyptians. So much so that when Moses came to bring them out, they were not able to see that it is God's answer to their groanings as told to us in Exodus chapter 6 verse 5. What happened to the Israelites? Let us now look at verse 9 of the same chapter. I have put up three different versions for us to look at the various words being used to describe the feelings of the Israelites. They did not listen to Moses, even though Moses reminded them of what God is going to do for them. Moses told this to the Israelites. 
but they did not listen to him because of their impatience and despondency in the Amplified Bible. And in the NLT, they had become too discouraged by the brutality of their slavery. And in NKJV, they are anguish of spirit, meaning very distressed. Despite God telling them his loving intention through Moses, they were not able to comprehend what God was trying to tell them. You know, in Exodus 6, 6 to 8, it says here, Therefore say to the children of Israel, I am the Lord, I will bring you out of, from under the burdens of the Egyptians, I will rescue you from their bondage, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgments. I will take you as my people and I will be your God. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God who brings you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And I will bring you into the land which I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And I will give it to you as a heritage. I am the Lord. Now let us look at these loving words again. These are the words from God himself and yet the Israelites were not able to receive it. Why? Because their situation had caused them to be despondent, hopeless, anguish, means very, very distressed, impatience, discouraged. They were not able to respond because of their heart condition. Now, what about us? Are we in the same situation as the Israelites? Jesus also came and spoke these words to us. Have you forgotten his words? Let us look at Luke chapter 4, verse 18 to 19. These were the loving words of Jesus to us. At one time, it has power over you and you were set free. You were no longer oppressed and you are no longer a slave, but you are set free. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see and the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. But what about today? Are you under bondage, discouraged, have a sense of hopelessness? Are you paralyzed by your situation? For some of you, your defense mechanism might be just to do nothing. Some of you may have grown weary because of the pandemic, or it may be other things that have made you distressed. Have you been so distressed by your own problems that you forgot that you have a God that wants you to be his people so that he can be your God? Let us be reminded again that he is our God who brings us out of our bondage into his freedom. When you are in God's freedom land, you will have wisdom from above. You will have a Christ-like mind and maturity to make godly decisions. You will have a clear direction as to what God wants you to do and many more things that will please the heart of God. Therefore, let us rejoice in Him today and make this decision to let God lead us from out from the bondage into His freedom. Let us sing this song together so that we return to his promises again, knowing that we have a God who wants to be our God and us his people. Amen. Let us rejoice in the Lord with this song. Mighty long way, a mighty long
Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 